Hi, I'm Brian. Thanks for joining us for the Yoakum Connection, where we feature the everyday heroes of our community. And the Arquitect is full of great people with great stories. We're proud to be able to share one of them with you today. Find out what's happening right here at the Yoakum Connection. We're here today to find out about Volunteers for Youth Justice, where it's all about a community caring for children, youth, and families in crisis. We'll also learn about their big fundraiser and you'll want to bring your appetite. It was in 1981, a group from the First Presbyterian Church decided that our community had families that were dropping between the cracks. There was not the resources available for these families that were at risk. So they brought this idea back to the community after they had a, attended an event and out of it came Volunteers for Youth Justice. Our mission is to provide a community that is serving families and youth and children that are in crisis. So our objective is to provide programs and resources that address not just the individual but the families as well. We have numerous programs we have our youth programs. Most of those are addressed towards mentoring. We have a Gems and Gents program where we take the actual program into the schools. We have a truancy program. Understanding that from K through 5 is a major area in which children were not establishing good education practices. Mm -hmm. We address conflict resolution. We have youth getting in fights constantly at school. I don't think times have ever changed much on that. But our goal, instead of a child being out of school for any length of time due to that infraction, we provide a program that will allow that, that child to go through three hours of training, get a certificate, and go back to school. One of our largest programs, though, that is very dear and near to my heart is the CASA program. And the CASAs are court-appointed special advocates that have been trained, they're volunteers I might add, and we are very uh, focused on always getting more volunteers, but they are trained to be the voice for the children in the court that have been removed due to abuse and neglect out of no fault of their own. So Lucinda, tell us about the new program that BYJ is doing. I am so excited about this program, Sarah. It is called Tribal Court. And again, we are taking this program into the school, which in this case, it is the Fair Park Preparatory Academy, which is middle school. And the purposing of this, it happens in the law class, and they're for minor infractions that happen with students, that they are brought into a courtroom setting which is amazing, and they actually are judged, so to speak, by their peers, who are bailiff, judge, juror, and they, at that point, have to do their community service, as it were, and sometimes it is community service. All of our programs directed to the youth are guided towards helping them make better choices. So I know that you're all run on volunteers and you're probably constantly looking for new faces, new bodies to come in and fill those spots to help our youth. What do people need to do if they want to get on board? Absolutely. In answer to that, we are definitely always looking for volunteers. We need mentors for the Gems and Gents program, obviously need CASAs. We encourage you to go on our website, which is volunteersforyouthjustice.org, and explore our programs. You're also very welcome to come by our office. It's located at 900 Jordan Street, which is connected to the Presbyterian Church. You come to the back of the church and you'll see community outreach. and come in there and we'll be more than happy to uh, explore with you what might be a good fit in your world to be a volunteer. So Amy, all of the wonderful programs that Volunteers for Youth Justice does wouldn't be possible without the volunteers and without some funding and your big fundraiser is coming up. Tell us all about it. It's coming up March the 24th, just right around the corner. It, this is going to be our sixth year. It's the sixth annual Battle of the Gumbo Gladiators event. It's a gumbo cook-off. It's a, a fun event. Um, we will we'll have over 50 teams when it's all said and done. Last year we had 48 cooking teams and they cooked 62 pots of gumbo. Mm -hmm. There's three categories. There's the chicken and sausage, there's seafood, and there's lanyap, which consists of, we have things like deer, uh, alligator, rabbit, a little bit of everything. And where is it held? It's at Festival Plaza. Okay. And it's from noon until four. We have the awards are at four. There's there's no charge um, as far as admission. Gates open at noon, and you come out and samples are two dollars each. And a sample is you, you might want to bring somebody with you for sure because one sample could really uh, be for two people if you really want to try you know and sample a lot of different uh, types of gumbo. 
it's a family friendly event um, bring everybody out we have a children's area if you're you know we have little bounce houses and different events for the children and um, it's lots of different gumbo just come out have a good time we have a big fundraiser for right. you all so rain or hurt. shine so uh, we're hoping for shine um, <laughs> It's at Festival Plaza in downtown Shreveport from noon until 4 on March 24th. And I imagine it's a lot of fun. It too. really is. Our teams keep coming back year after year. Absolutely. And such a great cause that all of the proceeds go it to does. as well. Mm -hmm. well it yeah. Volunteers for Youth Justice and it, it, it helps every one of our programs. Hey, thanks again for joining us for the Yoakum Connection. You know, we are always looking for better ways to serve our area. And Yoakum Toyota could really use your help to do even more in our community. You have an idea that could make a difference and help make Shreveport even better? Well, visit YoakumToyota.com today to see how Yoakum Toyota is involved in our community. Or request that we feature your organization and what it's doing here in the Shreveport area. Together, we can make an impact in our community. That's what it's all about. And that's the Yoko Connection.